வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் என் பேர் டாக்டர் பிரபாகர் இந்த வீடியோவில் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த மெக்கானிசம் ஆஃப் டிசெரிபிரேட் ரிஜிடிட்டி த டிசெரிபிரேட் ரிஜிடிட்டி இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஷார்ட் நோட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த சென்ட்ரல் நர்வஸ் சிஸ்டம் the experimental animal the decerebrate preparation make between the superior colliculus and inferior colliculus that is called as the mid collicular level of the lesion it produces the decerebrate preparation decerebrate rigidity means rigidity mainly occur in the extensor group of muscles the extensor group of muscles are anti gravity muscle it is important for the maintaining the tone and posture of the muscle movement so that is affected when the when make the decerebrate preparation the features of decerebrate preparations are no shock because spinal cord is intact in the decerebrate preparation it will not produce the spinal shock the rigidity is more in the extensor muscle so that is called as the decerebrate rigidity animal is hyper extensor tonic reflex is present mainly tonic neck reflex tonic labyrinthine reflex writing reflexes absent in the decerebrate preparation because the mid brain is also not intact in the decerebrate preparation mechanism of decerebrate rigidity decerebrate rigidity is occur due to the increased activity of the stretch reflexes the facilitation of the stretch reflexes by the increased excitability of the motor neuron pool and increased rate of the gamma motor neuron discharge this happen in the uh, lesion occur in between the superior colliculus and inferior colliculus that is mid collicular lesion in the medulla having the inhibitory reticular area small inhibitory reticular area it is controlled by the cortex basal ganglia and cerebellum the pons contain the larger facilitatory reticular area it is not controlled by the cortex and basal ganglia cerebellum so it spontaneously activated facilitatory reticular area and vestibular reticular area in the mid collicular lesion when we make the mid collicular lesion the cortex basal ganglia control over the medulla is lost so here is the lesion is occur so the cortex basal ganglia control over the inhibitory reticular area is absent so inhibitory reticular area is important for the control of the tone of the muscle tone of the muscle so the facilitatory reticular area activity is increased so it increases the tone of the extensor muscles the anti gravity muscles through the increase motor neuron pool and increases the rate of gamma motor neuron discharge so it produces the extensor rigidity in the mid collicular lesion only cerebellum is intact with the medulla but it has the less inhibitory control so facilitation of the inhibitory reticular area is more activated it produces the increased tone of the extensor muscle in the all the limbs so it produces the extensor rigidity this flow chart also depicts the mechanism of decerebrate rigidity the smaller inhibitory reticular area is controlled by the basal ganglia motor cortex cerebellum basal ganglia do not cannot directly control the medullary reticular area basal ganglia send the impulse to the motor cortex from the cortical fibers control the inhibitory reticular area okay so due to the lesion medullary lesion 
a less inhibitory output is occur. So finally in the facilitatory output from the pondine reticular area and vestibular nucleus is increases the facilitatory output is continues. So final output of the spinal motor neuron pool is increased, increased motor neuron activity and a common motor neuron activity. It produces the decerebrate It's mainly due to the increases the activity of the stretch reflex. Summary, decerebrate occurs due to the medullary lesion mainly occur in between the superior colliculus and inferior colliculus. It increases the activity of the stretch reflex. So it increases the tone of the extensor muscles, mainly anti-gravity muscles in the all the limbs. It produces the decerebrate rigidity. So it uh, increases the facilitatory reticular activity area. Inhibit the inhibitory reticular area mainly from the medulla. So it finally increases the motor neuron pool. So it produces the decerebrate rigidity. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, share your friends. Those who are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you once again.